What brings you here today? Uh, well, it's a crucial, there are many crucial issues that we're talking about right here. Linking the Turcotte interchange, the fiasco that's going to be the Turcotte interchange with the student movement, and, and it's really about how, how money is being spent. So we're talking about investing in, in destroying the health of the inner city neighborhoods to the tune of like, at presently they're calling it a $3.4 billion project, the Turcotte. And what it's going to do is going to bring hundreds of thousands of more cars into this downtown. It's going to cause pollution. It's going to, it's going to cause health costs in our health care system. It's going to ruin people's lives. It's going to send people to hospitals. It's going to get, create kids' asthma. We know exactly what cars in the downtown core do to people. More accidents. More cars means more accidents, more fatalities, or people with heavy trauma in their brains. Also, a terrible human cost. The health costs, if you, if you add up all the health costs from this Turcotte problem that they're about to bring to us in their wisdom, this incredible investment in death and destruction, that's, 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 that's the one issue. The other one is, and we're going to take money away from our universities, like we're going we're gonna to make the students pay more, and then we're going to take money away from our universities. It's like we're, we're not investing in our brains. It's like, wh who's got brains up there at the ministry? And in this government, who has actually got any brains up there? But, I mean, if we have more uh, university graduates that come out of programs like urban planning and environmental studies and so on, we might actually be able to find better solutions to our, our you know, societal issues of, of transportation and of, uh, you know, collective uh, living in, in the major cities that we're living in, right? Well, the solutions we've known about for uh, urban planning solutions for... 75 years since we started building highways we've known and bridges and things like that we know that you you can't actually build your way out of congestion and the planners have known this all along these are not uh, this is not from a lack of knowledge we 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 so we can put out as many urban planners as we want out of, out of our universities that's not the problem the problem is i suppose there's two or three overlapping problems as, as regards to the decision about the Turcotte, this is partly a problem of governance. So we have all of these, we're now in the consultations now about how to finance mass transit. We now know we have 17 agencies and we have 700 different fares in, our, in, our, in the region of Montreal. Uh, we have overlapping jurisdictions and they don't talk to each other, they don't plan, they don't co-plan, there's very little coordination. It's a, it's a, catastro a governance, it's a catastrophic disaster. Okay, but we also have a problem of, of a political problem. We have three million people living in the Greater Montreal region. A hundred million of them are in the city of Montreal, in the inner neighborhoods. So the political problem is that there's two million people who want to have all this car infrastructure. They want to have their cake and eat it too. And a million of us in the middle who have to take all that pain from their decisions to go and live in the suburbs and then to come in. So you see, the, it's a political problem because the provincial government is one that decides these questions, not the municipal level. And, and they're imposing. The, the city of Montreal has been very clear. They adopted in 2008 their, their transportation plan, and they see, the, see people moving in the city differently. They see people moving in the city on bicycles, on mass transit, in taxis, on trains, on tramways. They've got a shopping list of $23 billion worth of infrastructure projects we have to finance to try and move people around more efficiently, more ecologically more economically, right? It costs $12,000 to own a car. It costs $900 to buy your, 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 your buses passes for the year. I mean, and gas goes up and up and up. I mean, the economic choice is, is, is clear.